Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about mitochondrial dysfunction part five, PQQ and its role. We're going to call it PQQ because asking you to pronounce pyroloquinolone quinone might be more than most folks can accomplish. But what is it? It's a very interesting compound. It's been found in interstellar space dust, which is a marker of how stable it is because it even can survive outer space. And what's most unique is that it's used extensively by your mitochondrion. And the question is how? Well, here's what we've learned. This is really interesting. PQQ uh, acts sort of like CoQ10 and that it helps transport electrons around the mitochondria. But that's not where its real power comes from. Its real power comes from in that as we age, it appears to play a role in inducing new mitochondria to get started. Now you can take a general rule of thumb that once you are over age 50 or 60, you start making less CoQ10 and your mitochondria become damaged. In fact, they become so damaged that by age 80 to 90, only 10 to 20 percent of your of your mitochondria are still fully functional, losing as much as 30 to 40 percent of their functional ability. That's huge. I mean, that's really huge. Uh, so you want to get more mitochondria. What does it take to get more? This is where PQQ comes in. It stimulates new growth. Now, what do we, how do we know the value of PQQ? Well, it's kind of hard to measure because it's in many, many foods. Uh, but if you put animals on an absolute PQQ deficient diet, they will have fewer mitochondria, they will be less fertile, they'll have less cognitive function, many, many criteria for being a very critical vitamin or acting like a vitamin. You could make the argument it should be a vitamin. The question is, how do we get it? Well, guess where one of the most important food sources for PQQ is? Take a wild guess. You might be very happy to know that it's cocoa. Cocoa has as much as 10 or 800 parts per million and at least 10 times almost any other food. Is that why you feel better when you eat chocolate? It could be. It could well be that that may be the root cause behind how so many of us simply feel better when we eat chocolate. Too bad it has sugar in it. So what will work for me? Well, I've started taking it myself and I'm going to see how it works. I've taken some cognitive tests on myself and I'm going to just measure it to see if I get better. It's a bit on the expensive side. But if you were in any way worried about losing cognitive function, find it and try it. Pay attention to yourself and see if you don't feel better. This is Dr. John Whitcomb concluding on mitochondrial primer number five, the role of PQQ.